What's going on guys? Uh, so I got a package in the mail uh, a couple weeks ago. Well, one package at first and then I got a couple more packages later on. Uh, if you guys know that all the product reviews that I do, the majority of the time, I get my stuff from Revzilla and that's where I do all my affiliate marketing. So if you guys ever like click and buy gear from Revzilla, I get like tiny little amounts. My God, this camera, I love it, but it's like... So when I do gear reviews, I work with Revzilla. They are actually nice enough to like send me gear to review for you guys. So if I do like a top five video, I typically get the gear from those guys. So the reason I say that is because I have a relationship with Revzilla. And uh, the other day they reached out, we're like, hey, we've got this new brand of gear we're releasing. I think it's their like in-house brand or something like that. And it's called React. So I've got a couple pieces. Oh, and like a month or so ago, I got these pants and they're like riding pants. They've got like Kevlar and all that kind of stuff in them. So I've been riding with these for a while. And there's a black React leather jacket back there. Luke's been riding with that, but the new package has all the things. Like now I've got uh, leather short gloves, uh, perforated gloves. And something I asked Revzilla about, because I've been riding those pants so there's no armor in them, and if you guys remember, this happened to me. That wreck messed my knee up, and there were pads inside the riding pants that I was wearing on that wreck. So I've been riding around with these riding pants on with no armor, but they sent out armor, which I think this is like, yeah, so this is D3O hip protection this is knee protection so uh, I've got a mesh jacket got a pair of gloves and I got some pants and I'm gonna go ride in this stuff today and kind of talk you guys through how I like it I want to know about this mesh jacket because if you guys are in Georgia you know that it don't it don't get that cold very often so a mesh jacket works a lot more for us so I figured we'd kind of go out and check out the impressions I already know I really like the pants because I've been riding in the pants for a while but I haven't ridden in the pants with all the armor on, so pretty excited about that. Wanted a good reason to get back on the supermoto because I hadn't hadn't got to ride a lot lately. We'll talk about that stuff after I answer uh, this phone call. Nope, that's a telemarketer. I think that's it. I'm gonna get some gear on, get the supermoto, and I will catch you guys then. Oh, also, all you people that have been asking about this hat that I've been wearing for a while now, they are officially available. Link will be in the description to Ride Apparel Co., the positive motorcycle riding company that my friend and I started and we're trying to, trying to make motorcycling uh, positive. Okay, gear time. I guess before I put the pants on, I should probably figure out how to get this. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like a little Velcro pad inside out leg situation happening. Oh, you put the armor in from the bottom. Oh, and there is padding. Okay, cool. So we, we got to go in from the other side. That makes sense. I just noticed there's this reflective strip if you roll these pants up. That's awesome. I love discovering things while doing videos on them. Those are in, and now we've got the hip thing. I mean, if we're doing armor, right? We got to put, got to put all the armor in. Just slide it in. Very cool. And now we have hip armor. Okay, the pants feel the exact same way with and without armor, so that's good news. All right, so this jacket, pretty uh, low key jacket. I like it. Typically, I would take these rain liners out, but with it being winter time coming up soon. I might leave it. This is a large jacket. Typically I wear larges. This is a comfortable jacket. I really like the fit actually. A lot of the times large jackets like they fit huge, but dude, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so hot. There's no way I'm leaving this liner in. So easy enough, I got the jacket with the inner liner out. I really do think this is waterproof, guys. Like, it's wind and waterproof, because no water is getting through that. So that's really cool. Most jackets just have like that inner layer to help wind, but I don't think any water is getting through that one. What do you guys think? Let's get it zipped up. I don't know what the pricing is for any of this gear, so I can't really tell you. But I know that fits well. We've got minimal branding on it. That feels pretty good. Okay, uh, gloves. 
You know, the gloves are small enough. I, th I think I'll take both pairs. I'll just throw one in one of my like icon book bags. Probably gonna start out with the mesh ones though. Gloves are a size large. Okay. Typically I wear a medium in gloves because my body's fat, but my, my head and my hands are small, I guess. They feel really premium too. We'll find out more when we're riding. Ooh, those are good too. Yeah, we're definitely going with the mesh ones because I have a feeling the leather ones will be a little hot. I don't want my hands to get sweaty. Okay, that's all of the unboxing of the things. We're gonna be on the bike now. I think I said we're gonna be on the bike last time, but I promise this time. Guys, no lie, I think my left hand is bigger than my right hand. Also, note, I am so glad that I took that liner out because three days ago here, it was like in the 50s, and now it has to be in the high 80s. So far, gloves are doing good. My left hand is a little tighter in the glove than my right hand, though. It's very odd. Like, it's very tight here, and my thumb is like at the very tip top, whereas this one's comfortable. Like this whole hand is comfortable, but my left hand's a little, a little tight. And these are large gloves, so if you're looking into these gloves, make sure to get a size above what you typically wear, because I typically wear mediums, and I'm in larges, and they're it's like God, it's like freaking centimeter too, too small. Just not digging that tight left hand though. I might have to actually, you know what? That's a lot of parking. I might pull into there and uh, try the leather ones on. They're the same size, so they should work out better and I mean we're stuck in traffic here anyway jacket feels really good though it like stretches where it needs to and it's tight where I, I prefer it to be I've got a couple jackets at the house where they're, they're like they're really baggy it's not a fan this entire hand feels totally fine except for my thumb I legit wonder if my left hand is bigger than my right hand does anybody else have the same issue where your left hand or right hand is bigger than the other all right, so I just brought the other set of gloves in my book bag. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this bike back so it doesn't keep like barely up. There we go. So here are the leather ones. They don't have quite as much red on them. You guys like how I brought this or this giant backpack for like a pair of gloves? All right, we're uh, in protection mode now with the leather gloves. Oh, there's a ton more space in there. Yeah, the leather gloves might be the way to go. That's what I needed. Rivzilla wanted me to be more safe. Okay, that's what it was. And they also wanted me to learn how to ride a motorcycle. Yeah, leather gloves feel like a whole different level of better. If I remember correctly, Rivzilla said that this is like a premium brand, so this stuff probably is not cheap. And it kind of feels that way. You can tell they've got like premium materials I don't know how much it is, but if it's cheap, if this gear is cheap, then like this is a, you need to go buy this right now because they don't realize how, how expensive these should be. And if they're expensive, well, they should be, I guess. I don't know. Oh, we can see what I look like. I like it. The white jacket's not bad. I'm kind of digging it. TBH. All right, we're just going to go since nobody's going. Good, don't worry, I've got protective gear on. I'm safe, son of a... Yeah, what do you guys think about the combo? Gloves, pants, and jacket. I think they work really well. God, that BMW is so close. You know, I said earlier that I'm gonna use the leather gloves second so I, my hands don't sweat too soon. But like, I really can't tell a huge difference between the leather gloves and the mesh gloves as far as like air and stuff like that. Like, my hands are super comfortable. So I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, you know, if these mesh gloves don't really fit, then what's the point of keeping them? So uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll just give them away in the comments. So you guys make sure to like this video, make sure not get hit by a car. And as long as you do all those things, then uh, I'll pick somebody in the comments, like, I don't know, 48 hours after this video. As long as you liked it, obviously watched it, but you're watching it right now. Uh, as long as you do those things, I'll pick somebody and I'll uh, give the pair of gloves out. Send them to you totes free. Hashtag you're welcome.
Oh, I can also take this opportunity to let you guys know the, uh, I'd be wondering why I'm on the supermoto and not riding around. Woohoohoo! No, people! Lord, Ryan F9 was not joking. You are invisible. Uh, a lot of you guys might be wondering why I'm not riding on my beautiful Daytona 675R. Well, for one, downtown, this bike is so much more fun. WR250 for days, y'all. But I have some really interesting things to talk to you guys about regarding my Daytona 675R. I'm not going to say anything now. All I'm saying is news is on the horizon. Might be good news, might be bad news. It you know, depends on what you, what you feel about the Daytona 675R. So real talk about the pants real quick. Um, as you can see, my leg is bent up. The pants are long enough to still cover my boots, but you can roll the pants up and they have that little reflective uh, material at the bottom, which is really neat. The pants are very comfortable. Even I've, not, I've got the armor in them now, and they're still really comfortable. So, as far as my MVP choice, if you're going to get one of these pieces of gear, I highly recommend pants. I want to do an entire video coming up about how important riding pants are because I see so many people just ride around in blue jeans, and I don't think a lot of people realize that blue jeans are almost as bad as wearing shorts when you ride the second blue jeans touch asphalt they're they're done and as far as riding pants go man these are some of the best pairs of riding pants i've ever had oh i do need to know as i told you guys rosella did send me all this gear rosella does not pay me to say anything they don't tell me what to say it's literally like hey here's some gear if you like it go make a video if you don't like it then do whatever you want to with it so I'm not incentivized to, you know, tell you guys that, hey, man, this gear, you should definitely go buy it. I have an understanding with RevZilla, just like I do with Mountain Motorsports. When I review stuff, like, I tell every company I ever review anything with, I'm like, look, honesty is what has gotten me to where I am, and I'm not going to lie to people. What often happens is if I review something and it's shitty, I normally message the company and be like, hey, man, I did not like your product. If you want me to still make my video, I will gladly do that. Um, but just want to give you that heads up. Most companies are like, hey, we appreciate that info. We would not like you to make that video, please. <laughs> uh, so I just want to be you know, transparent and upfront with you guys that if I say something in a video, it's because that's how I think, you know, I, and I let companies know how I feel before, uh, before the videos go live. But that being said, these pants and the, the armor. I don't know if the armor comes with it. Double check that if you're looking into pants, but definitely MVP on the pants. This jacket fits better than most jackets I've been riding in recently, especially mesh jackets. I don't care how gear is supposed to fit. I feel so much better when gear fits to me, and I don't know if you guys can tell from the front GoPro, but this jacket, I feel like, is actually fit to my body type. You know, and it's not like all crinkled up and stuff like that. It, it feels like it's it's being worn like it's supposed to be worn and I feel safer riding in gear that fits correctly obviously you literally are safer if you're riding gear that fits correctly but uh, this jacket does a really good job I guess it's the cut something like that something's working I like it one that's me trying to vocalize and verbalize and Ferrari rise that information I think I'm gonna pull over in a second and uh, get some tunes playing Dude, I'm straight up pulling into here. I just gotta get music playing, man. It's kind of monotonous driving in this traffic. Um, and I'm gonna ride around Atlanta for a little while, and then uh, I'll let you guys know my final thoughts when I get home. But for now, for some reason, lately, I've been into Eiffel 65 again, like old school chase days coming in strong with Europop. All right, I'll see you guys at the garage. So, final thoughts on the Reax gear. 
Leather gloves worked really good the rest of the day. Uh, jacket is absolutely phenomenal. It became a little chilly on the way home, but it felt great still. Uh, solid uh, 9 out of 10 on all the gear. I don't know why I gave it a 9 instead of a 10, but it is what it is. So hopefully you guys like this really quick motor vloggy type of go check gear out stuff. Whenever I have time, if you guys want to see an in-depth review on any of the gear, let me know and I'll put it in the queue for later on. But we got a lot of shit going on right now, so didn't have time for the full review. Anyway, I'm Chase on Two Wheels. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And uh, consider subscribing if you like motorcycle content. I'm going to go dump all this footage and edit it up so you guys can watch it. Oh, thanks Revzilla for sending out the gear. It was very nice. I appreciated it. And uh, I'm going to give away the mesh gloves. And that's my wallet. Awesome. Later.